guys, it's my dad and me back at the field, our Civil War. That's, Glory hole. that's either going to be a really pretty piece of trash, or if I had to guess, I would say a mini ball. And he's using the knock to four score, which is oh, pretty much, we're calling it the beast right now. Pretty impressed with it. probably the 12th or 13th time we've hit this place every time it's yielded dreams and bucket listers no comments on the holes guys this is not a plowed field this is a hunting field which we have permission for so it's not how pretty I just want to go a little bit bigger than I should been here about 15 20 minutes he's already got his third button all right well I'm going to say it's going to be iron, but it might be a button, but we'll see. Well, there it is in my hand. Might be just a square now. Sounded pretty from up top. Oh, it's a fired piece of lead. More lead for the puck? Yeah, it looks like a little bucking ball that had been hit, hit something. So that's period. So I'll take it. That'll be another one for our frame. We got a whole dish of lead that we pulled out of here, not counting all the really good stuff. So we'll be back when we get even more. I'm sure someday it's going to yield something really good. Alright, so I just dug this interesting little guy. Looks like some kind of copper. Ring like nothing. Had no problem finding it. It was pretty deep though. Probably five inches. Looks like a button. If I'm lucky. Clasp and all. I'll let you know later when it's all cleaned up. Hey guys. As you would expect, I don't film a lot of these. A lot of old iron, a lot of spikes, there's a railroad nearby. If you look over there, you can see my dad in the distance. Trying to scope out pretty close to where I found that large sign. It's not an obsession, it's just his turn. Alright, I'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, just thought I'd share this. Give you an idea how sensitive this little machine is. A little iron doohickey. I don't know what that is. That little guy in this big old hole. And it was a clear signal. This machine over there might be better. This little bull holds its own. I'm a believer. See you guys in the next hole. I'm in this nice little area. I found a three ringer or two. A few pieces of smashed lead in it. It's actually my second one. I didn't film the last one. But look how nice and round that is. That white color, it's just era. Old lead. I'm happy with it. Well, you know when we find something awesome. I've been in the field a lot lately, so I'm kind of playing in this river right next to the field. I've seen a lot of old stuff. Pulled a couple old items out last time I was playing around here right before we left. The river's really high. I'll see what I can do. I'll let you guys know what I find. Alright, I already know this is going to be the most random video ever. You never know what I'll pull out of this. I don't even know what this is. A dial or a cog or something. I'm on ways back. Sink plug? I don't know. I'll show you guys what else I find. Well guys, the river was a little bit too high for me to really get in there. Got half a horseshoe. My dad actually found an ox shoe, which is basically colonial. Era. Right about over there, a little to the right of where you can see him right now. I was kind of going for one of them. Oh well. Well, you guys see what I find next. Dad just found something really cool, some carved lead. Tell him what that is, Dad. Well, I think it's a mini ball or a round ball that they actually carved. You can see the knife edgings. 
and the square nail hole. I think they used it to cover the percussion nipple or the, the hammer strike on their guns. So if I'm wrong, you know, any Civil War guys let me know. All I know is that's definitely been put in by a square nail, probably, or the actual hammer itself, and that's kind of unusual. But sweet fine. Yeah, I love different shaped lead. All right, things are picking up. Get back to you guys when we find something else. Hey guys, it is another beautiful morning in Kentucky. We're at another permission. I'm going to follow up from that last permission. We did pretty good. There's a newer house there. An old dump down there in a river. Let's see how we do. I'll let you guys know. Hey guys, so far this place is a mixture of old and new. You never really know what you're going to pull out. I go all metal lately anyway at sites like this. I'm not too far away from where I found a silver ring right in this old little garden. And I just got this cute little buckle. Let's see what I can pull next. Hey guys, I just now dug another nice little buckle out of my next hole. Let's see what else I can get. You guys wish me luck. I can get something awesome. Big silver hoard. Hey guys, I just scored me another buckle. Not super old probably, but I like it. I like the shape of it. And I love finding buckles. To the next hole. Now, hey guys, I guess that's where the old cabin stood. Right over there. I'm out on the hillside right now. Exploring out a little bit. Old piece of copper. Not really sure what that is. Could pull anything old on this hill though. The old cabin. Maybe they dropped some large scents. I'll get back to you. Hey guys. I am not even a foot away from where I just was. I'm killing it on buttons. Got another little button. Killing it on buttons and buckles. I'll get back to you with the next target. Hey guys, we are back at our Civil War battlefield. We've been all over the place in this video, all the time that we can get into for the last couple weeks. A lot going on is all going into this video to make one big happy treasure hunting trip. I just started to go all metal out here because you never know what you're going to find. Just found an old iron chain link. Looks ham hammered. You dig a lot of iron, but you can always find something cool. See you at the next hole. Iron. 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 Even more iron. Even more iron than that. More iron. You got a cute little piece of square nail. That's something. On to the next hole. Alright, so this isn't very cool. Pulled this out of the plug. It looks so much like it was going to be a coin. Might still be part to a button. Old jean button, maybe? Old overall button? It's pretty. Too bad it ain't whole. I'll take it. On to the next hole. So this is cool. It looks like I just got two buttons in a row. And this one looks like it's age worthy. Awesome. On to the next hole. Things are getting good. Hey guys. You guys see that? Old, old bullet. I can't quite put a name to her. Just another one for the pot. So many old bullets come out of here. On to the next hole. Alright guys, this is one of those moments where you just kind of stare at wonder at what's in your hand. Not at all sure at what it is or what it may even could be. It's not very heavy. It's not really iron. I'll let you guys know what I find out about that. 
on to the next hole. Yeah, I just ran over here. My dad said he found something. It's pretty interesting. We actually filmed this, but I don't know what happened. And it's it's not man-made material. It's like bone. But I have no idea. Metal took me 40 years. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, that should be interesting. I'll let you guys know what we can find out on it. If not, if one of you guys know what that is, let us know. Because that's the second what in the world today. Check this out. This is what I found earlier. I don't understand what this is. But that's what was ringing, and that's what was in the hole. It's rubber. This is a handle to a tool. Probably a screwdriver. Older. 40s or 50s, or maybe even earlier, but that's rubber. Weird. Alright, guys, on to the next hole. Let me see that I don't know how we managed to walk over this as many times as we have. We've done this field so many times. But it keeps producing. It just goes to show you should always go back. Something big like that didn't ring on a sensitive machine and all metal. You never know. To the next hole. Hey guys. My dad says he's got something good. Let's find out what it is. Thinking it's a big piece of lead. Yeah. Uh oh. That's it. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. That's looking juicy. That's what she is. Like a 58 caliber mini ball. Well, that's a big fatty. Oh, look at that. Another mini ball out of the that's a Civil War field. 58 caliber. Looks like it's been wormed. You gotta love it, though. That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. So... That's another one for him. I think he's one up me on those. What's that, five or six? Or seven. It's uh, my, I'm pretty sure like five. Well, I also have four, four six and nine caliber round balls. And he's got a whole bunch of six and nine caliber round balls. Let's see if I can't one up him, guys. To the next hole. Hey, guys. It's a beautiful Saturday morning in Kentucky. Getting ready to go out again. No special sight or nothing like that, but hopefully some new ground. Probably going to be a lot of clad. Might pull some silver. Right now, I'm just finishing some touch-ups on my special finds pouch. Now all I did is I took me a squirrel hide and fit it. Now I'm trimming it. And when all is said and done... Of a nice little squirrel hide special finds pouch. Let's see what I find later today, guys. I might get lucky. Hey, guys. We're doing that new ground I was talking about. It's like we got our first find of the day. My dad just seems to have pulled a beautiful silver ring. Oh, man. That's nice looking, too. I like it. That looks like real silver to me. Yep, yeah, it's got a nice color to it and it's heavy. Oh, there's the back mark right there. I can see it. Awesome. 925. And that Celtic design, that's a pretty ring. It is. Good job. Not bad. Been here 10 minutes. Been here about 10 minutes. On to the next hole. Hey guys, we're back just a few moments later. I think this used to be an old home site. There's more here. He just found a big old fatty back to an old spoon. There's more in the hole. Yeah, but I don't know if it's iron or junk. Or... It could be anything though, because pointers, these pointers don't discriminate. We found old brick in every hole. Old glass. We started getting excited after that ring, and we're not, we're not settling down now. Yeah, that's just old junk iron in there. That's kind of cool though. I like that. Me too. On to the next hole. Hey guys. So, we sort of got rained out. 
all them beautiful blue skies you saw up in my head in the last segment, they didn't last long. So, we're using this rain in this time we got right now to burn some gas, look for some new places. That's half a metal detecting right there, searching out the spots. If we find something or we get hunting again, I'll let you see what we can do. Hey guys, I'm at a little park. Yeah, it's still raining, but uh, I don't care. Look what I got. Got this neat little piece of jewelry. I like jewelry. I'll have to clean that up. Nothing crazy, but I like little jewelry. On to the next hole. Hey guys. I got a couple more targets, but I fought the good fight. I went hard in the rain. I went until it was so muddy I couldn't hold on to my machine. It's not happening today. As soon as I get the chance, there are more adventures await. It's going to be a lot going on. I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything. Treasure to be found. Until the next hole. Hey guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It was my first attempt at making a video out of one of my trips metal detecting. It's just something I absolutely love to do and I actually had a lot of fun making this video even though my dad stumped me real bad. Let me show you what we got. Alright, but all the video was just a tangled mess kind of. We are getting out as much as we possibly could. We were at four different locations, two permissions, one being our Civil War field, and one public, just that park. I made out with a nice little metallic jet, not very old, handful of clad, old butter knife, possible old rat tail. I got me a fake little piece of jewelry, Hello Kitty. That's what I'm talking about. You guys see that? I'm rocking that Hello Kitty. Why not? I got a couple buckles. Nothing that looks too old, but I like buckles. I'm happy with that. Also, guys, this was my first video, and now I know to record with my phone sideways. Otherwise, you get those pesky bars on the side. Found this at the home. Old hot plate, pretty cool old looking old brick. My dad likes these, he collects them. Figure I'd grab that for him, even though it weighs like 10 pounds. So that's, that's some of the stuff that I found. I found this really cool, age-worthy iron chain link. Some buckles, some arrow-worthy lead. Alright, some buttons. I like buttons. I don't think any of them were very old except for this guy. This guy. A cute little flat button. This is that button I dug that I really didn't give you guys very much time to look at. It came out really great. Full shank. And now it's time for my dad's finds. Alright. You got... <laughs> A couple flat buttons, a couple rivets, this beautiful three ringer, which when we started, I was actually, he found the first three ringer either of us had ever dug in that field, and then I caught up, and then I got one ahead, then I was two ahead. And I kept that lead for a while, actually. And then he just started stomping me. I think it's that four score, guys. I'm going to have to get me one. Big believer in my machine. Big believer in that, too. Big, beautiful silver ring. Look at that. 925. That's so awesome. He absolutely destroyed me. It's okay, though. I'm technically still one up on him. This is the stuff that we found in that field before I started filming. We found several three ringers. 
Big caliber balls, little caliber balls. And then this is my pride and joy right now. It's the oldest coin I've ever found. Let's get that in the light. 1843. 175-year-old coin, a large cent. He's not going to let me live this one down until he gets one too. I'm still psyched about it. I'm ready for more. Of course, he did find a U.S. belt plate buckle as well. That's a hard one to live down. And the bag seal, you can see in my intro, that's going to be a hard one to live down. That's going to be a hard one to match. But my time is coming, my friends. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe, there's a lot more to come. Hey guys, I just about ran out of there without showing a couple of the coolest finds. Percussion cap protector. This would stop the uh, on the muskets. This would stop the hammer from wearing down the gun. Looks like someone just made their own right out of a right out of a round. That's super cool. Very identifiable. This is that ox shoe my dad had found previously that I mentioned in my video. It's really cool. I had no idea what this was until he told me. Eastern Kentucky Relic Hunters.